let's see, let's see. What is it gonna be today? Oh, mouthpieces. Oh, I haven't tried that auto link in a minute. Oh, that's that Brian Powell piece. Oh, look at my auto link, my full auto link. Oh no, there's the solos. I forgot about that. Oh, what about alto? Damn. Look at all these different mouthpieces. Oh, I haven't played that thing since high school. What? That's my tone master. Man, it's too much to deal with it, but I need reads. What I'm gonna do about reads? All these mouthpieces are different. They require different reads. Look at all these. Four Henke. When did I use those? Three hard jazz select. Those regatta reads. Oh, what is this? Is this a science project? I'm pickling reads now? Are these embalmed reads? Are they gonna be brought back to life? Look at, look at this. Is this, what? All these Vendor reads. Fours. Four and a half. What am I doing with it? What is all of this? Oh, I, I don't know what read to use. Oh, I'm gonna need a ligature if I'm gonna change my setup. Oh, I can't use that unless I'm using the hard rubber mouthpiece. Let's see. Uh, it's Francois Lewis, these Roviners. I don't know what to do with those. Oh, there's an auto link ligature. What, what is that contraption? I don't, what is, oh, I don't know which one to use. They do everything. Oh, there's another auto link ligature. Another one, another one. All these, it's so much to choose from. I just can't do it. Oh, it's too much work. It's too much work. I, I'm just gonna, no, I'm not gonna practice. What's up, people? Stan Tawan Kendrick here, coming to you with a video again. And today's topic, can you have too much equipment? You know, when I do these videos, I pretty much do them basically to answer questions to myself. You know, so when you find me shooting videos like reads and stick with a mouthpiece and the core of your sound and all these different topics that I've come up with, it's really me examining myself. So today, how did I get to this topic? What am I doing to examine myself today? Well, I woke up this morning. I'm looking at some videos, some of my videos, listening to my sound on this mouthpiece, this mouthpiece, this read, that read, you know, listening to, going back, I mean months back and like, man, I might need to switch back to that soloist. Man, I wanna try that hard rubber auto link again. Wait. What read was I using on that? And I thought to myself, I was like, see, you're doing it again, Stantuan. You're doing it again. You are being subject to having too much equipment. See, if you don't have all this equipment, I mean, there's pros and cons. If you don't have all this equipment, then you don't have these things to keep going back to, like ex-girlfriends that you never got over, but you, you know, might miss them. You know, so you might call her every now and again. So if you don't have her no more and you kicked her to the curb, there's no, no more going back and finding her. You deleted her number, she gone. But if she's still laying around, you might want to call her. You know, and that's what it is to have too much equipment. It's always in the back of your mind, like every mouthpiece and every setup is going to have pros and cons, reads, all that stuff. So can you have too much equipment? Yes. So you can develop some sort of uh, habit that I like to call withdrawal, I guess, where you feel as though every two months you got to go, you know, let me go on eBay and see if I can find that mouthpiece I wanted. Hmm. Oh, man, I had Rico Jazz Select this time. I'm going to get Van Doren next time. Oh, I had Van Doren last time. Maybe I'll try something else. It goes on and on and on. To the point where I remember one time I had three mouthpieces in my case. You know, and when gig time comes, I'm looking at my case like, hmm, which mouthpiece do I want to play on? That's not a good place to be in. You know, that, that, that is not a good place to be in. If you can nail it down to, I'm going to say, at least two mouthpieces that you, you might go back and forth between, you doing good. And, hey, don't get me wrong. The mouthpieces that I showed in my clip... There are saxophone players out there with three times, four times as many mouthpieces as I got and ligatures that I got and reeds and all that stuff that I have. It's, it's people out there that are very meticulous, you know, and they, they play on a mouth, different mouthpiece every week. I think I, I've been on this stretch with my Florida Auto Link for three months. And I'm starting to get that itch again, where I'm kind of like, ooh, I want to change again. You know, and I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm trying. It's like going back to crack. You know, I'm trying not to switch and go back to a different mouthpiece. But today, 
I think I'm gonna do it today. Anyway, basically all I want to say is you guys be aware of how much equipment you have and think about is that helping you? Is it causing you to have more problems? You know, if it's helping you, good. I would say the reason why I have the equipment that I have is to be able to, and I said this before in another video, to be able to maintain and think of every aspect of my individual unique sound and how each mouthpiece kind of interprets that and what I get from it. So there's going to be always pros and cons. Oh, this one gives me this out of my sound. Oh, this one gives me this out of my sound. But overall, which one is the better one? If I had to stick to one, which one is more comfortable, gives me the most amount of uh, volume and resonance, which one is sweeter, which one gives me the overall picture? Because the, the other ones are going to do things that the other ones don't do. You know, but if you can come to a happy medium and say, all right, this one gives me the best overall when it comes to feel, sound, technique, volume, how it feels in my mouth, how my tongue can articulate on it, all of those things, which one gives me that? But if you have too many mouthpieces to draw from, then you will be very indecisive. And not only that, you will start looking elsewhere to get more mouthpieces and more mouthpieces. Just quick video today, you guys. Be mindful, be encouraged, you know, and I hope you guys are having a great week. Just be mindful of how many pieces you have because it can get to a point where you might have a problem. <laughs> anyway, it's your boy, Santuan. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.